Good morning, everyone, and welcome wherever you are uh, tuning in with us today uh, for a reading from God's Word and uh, words of hope and strength and consolation and challenge through that as well. And this morning, I'm going to look at a few verses from 1 John chapter 4 and reading from the seventh verse. You're welcome to join in at home if you have a Bible as well. Beloved, let us love one another because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us and his love is perfected in us. God is love, and those who abide in love abide in God, and God abides in them. Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness on the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not reached perfection in love. We love because he first loved us. Those who say, I love God, and hate their brothers or sisters are liars. For those who do not love a brother or sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. The commandment we have from him is this, those who love God must love their brothers and sisters also. The word love or derivations of the word is mentioned 26 times in those short nine verses. I hope and pray that you are someone who is loved today. You feel it tangibly in your life. And I hope and pray also that you love others too. This morning we think of our loved ones, those who are close to us, family, friends, those who are very close in our lives. And love is a wonderful word, and yet it can be a word that is abused as well. And as we think of our loved ones this morning, wherever they may be, and in these dark days, we don't always see each other and our loved ones. Some homes cannot see other family members or people in other parts of the world who we love. We thank God indeed for the beauty of technology at this time, where the likes of Skype and phone calls and other sorts of devices we can use to keep in touch with each other. I'm going to look for a few moments of God's love this morning as well. And these challenging words from 1 John chapter 4 tells us a lot about who God is, that in his essence he is love. The Greek word is agape, and that word refers to God's love. It's a unique love. A love like no other. A love that is unconditional to every single human being. A love that is equal to every human being. By his very person, his essence is love. And the challenge is there too that for us to know and love God is to receive the love he gives and has given in the first place. That he sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. Not that we loved God first, 
but that he loved us and then sent his son to take away all our sins and our wrongdoing. That love is still there today and it still comes from the person of God. All he asks is that we open our hearts to receive that love and that we will know him through his son. I hope and pray with the wonderful vehicle of prayer that wherever we are, that can never be taken away from us in all circumstances and situations. And that we can know indeed God's love through that and to pray for others, which is the other great challenge in this passage, to love others as we love ourselves. To love others because God's love commands it. He loves us, but he wants us to share that love with others too. I am amazed in these days, just looking at the news and seeing the hundreds of thousands of people giving of their services voluntarily to help through this crisis. People who in some ways may be putting their own health on the line to help others because there's care and there's love for others in need at this time. With all the negativity we see on the news, there is positivity going on as well, where people are being reached in practical ways and yet by safe measures, and that's what we must always remember, that we go by the safety parameters that are laid down as people reach out to help each other in this difficult time. Those who are vulnerable, those who are most affected or could be by this crisis. Different groups of people come to mind when we think about that. And on my mind this morning are those who are homeless. And we haven't heard a lot about how homeless people are coping with this crisis. A lot of them are out on the streets. A lot of them are in the midst of danger as well and maybe people are afraid to reach them too because of the safety barriers that are in place but there are many groups of people that we can think of today who need the care and love of the rest of humanity to reach them as well God is love and those who abide in love abide in God and God abides in them As we know God's love, it is imperative that we spread it and share it with others in whatever way we can. And it can still be done in these difficult days with all the safety precautions in place. Verse 18 of 1 John 4 says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not reached perfection in love. This is not fear in the sense of throwing it to the wind as we go out and to try and help others. It's not that type of fear. Those of us who don't know God's love or haven't received it yet, then there is the fear of assurance for the future that it's not there. When God's love comes into our lives, and therefore to give it away to others. That's perfect love. Agape love from God. It casts out fear. Fear of no assurance. Fear that God is not present. Fear of all sorts of things. When we have God's love. And share it with others. Truthfully from our hearts. Not something we do out of duty but simply because an extension of God's love within us to reach others with that love, then fear is cast out. We have the assurance of God with us and his love. Those who say, I love God and hate their brothers or sisters are liars. We must be truthful with our love. It must be transparent, caring, and real. We cannot love God 
if we don't love each other. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we do thank you that you are ever present with us. Your word teaches us the promises that God is ever near through all in this life. Father, we thank you for your love that is ever present, unconditional. Your love extends to every single human being, no matter who we are, no matter what we have done, you still love us. But Lord, you want us to come and to receive that love, to know it for ourselves, which transforms our lives through Christ's love on the cross, where our sins are forgiven if we trust in you. That that love becomes tangible in our lives and that the propulsion of the Holy Spirit within wants us to extend that love to others yet to know your love. Father, in these days, in these days of difficulty and danger, we pray for safety for all who are reaching out in love in any way to those in need. And we pray, Father, that your love continues to be effective in this world as your servants follow you. God is love. Help us to know that for ourselves this day and forevermore. And as we pray for others, Lord, we know you hear our prayer and you deal with it as you see fit. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Just a short announcement uh, before uh, we go. For ongoing services online, we will have another service this uh, this Sunday being Palm Sunday. Do feel free to tune in at 11 o'clock uh, this Sunday. And next week being Holy Week, there will be a short service at 11 o'clock each morning uh, throughout Holy Week. And on Good Friday, there will be a little extended time at 3 o'clock centred around the cross Again, you're very welcome to join us at any of those times over the days to come. May God bless you and keep you safe. Amen.